By your word, you frame the word. Your word is true, your word is yeah. By your word, you frame the word. Your word is true, your word is yeah. By your word. By your word. To every problem, there is a solution. You frame my word. It is hidden somewhere. There is always a solution in the scripture. Dig it, and you shall find it. This one is for you. Aim is alive, and the light is the light of men. Glory be to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank God for another privilege to be here again. Father, we worship you. We give you all the glory. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for your word. Thank you because your word is powerful. And your word shall do us good again today. I set our thanks in the name of Jesus. As we go into your word again, Holy Spirit help us. Over to you. Take control in the name of Jesus. Let your name alone be glorified at the end of everything. Blessed be your name, O Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I welcome you to another edition of Solution in Scripture. If you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, I want to beg you to please do so. God bless you as you are doing so in Jesus' name. Amen. Today we shall be looking at a story in the Scripture. It's a story that we are familiar with. That is in the book of John chapter 4. John chapter 4, let's read verses 28 and 29 for now. The woman then left her water pot and went away into the city and said to, to the men, Come, see a man which told me all things, which ever I did. Is not this the Christ? Then they went out of the city and came unto him. Hallelujah. So let's talk about the story first. Then we'll come back to this reaction. So what brought this reaction? What is the meaning of this reaction? As the Holy Spirit will be giving us, you know, deeper interpretation of his word in Jesus' name. Amen. The story of the woman of Samaria who came to Jesus. You know, Jesus was waiting for the disciples who went into the city to get food for him. They wanted to eat because Jesus was hungry. So they went to the city. While Jesus was waiting for them, a woman came to fetch water. And Jesus told her, give me a drink and she said how could you that is in verse 9 chapter 4 verse 9 then said the woman of samaria unto him how is it that thou being a jew ask drink of me which am a woman of samaria for the jews have no dealings with the samaritans the jews they had no dealings with the samaritan yet jesus was asking for a drink Jesus asked her for a drink. What a privilege. You know why? When Jesus asked you for a cup of drink, it is because he wants to give you a well of water. Yes, he told the woman. Jesus answered, said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of God, and who is who it is that said to thee, Give me to drink, thou would, thou would have asked of him, and he would have given you the living water. So when God makes a demand from you, it is because he wants to give you that thing in double folds. So what is God demanding from you? Is God demanding for, for your life? I'm not saying he wants to kill you. When you give your life to Jesus, that means he's, dem he's demanding for your life. It is because he wants to give you eternal life. That is why he's demanding that simple life, single life from you. Hallelujah. We are going somewhere. So... This woman had an encounter with Jesus. To summarize it, she had an encounter with Jesus. And Jesus told her everything about her. Okay, she said, uh, when Jesus asked of her husband, she said, I'm not married. Though she was in the fifth man's house. Yet she was not married. So which means living with a man doesn't make you a married woman. If heaven, if God doesn't recognize that marriage, you are not married. We are not going there today. That is not where we are going today. We are going to that word, that verse 28, which says, and the woman left her pot. What does that mean? The woman 
was going somewhere. The woman actually went to the well for a purpose. And the purpose, the container she carried, was that water pot to fulfill the purpose before she met Christ. But when she met Christ, she dropped that container. She dropped her intention. She dropped the reason why she was there. She dropped what she was doing before she had an encounter. That encounter actually took that water pot away from her. You claimed you have had, you've had an encounter with Christ. What has that encounter taken away from you? You are still walking in that your old path. You are still walking in that your old way. You are still fulfilling that your old dream that was not in line with the counsel of God. This woman, her aim, her intention, why she embarked on that journey before she met Christ was to use water pots. But when she met Christ, she dropped that water pot. So what does that water pot mean to you? What is your own water pot that you need to drop, that you need to drop after having an encounter with Jesus Christ? She dropped the water pot, which means she dropped her initial ambition. What is your own ambition? What have you been pursuing? She was pursuing that water, that well. That was what she was pursuing before she met Christ. But she dropped that. She forsook that. She dropped the purpose. She dropped what she was after, what she was running after before she met Christ. What were you running after before you met Christ? You said you've had an encounter with Jesus. But what has that encounter taken away from you? You are still living your old life. You are still pursuing that old ungodly dreams. You are still pursuing that selfish idea. You are still carrying that old water pot. Old water pot of purpose. Old water pot of vision. Old water pot of mission. Old water pot of destiny. That is what you are still carrying about. You have refused to drop it. But you know what? Until you drop it, you cannot go back to the city. When this woman dropped the water pot, the Bible says, as she ran back to the city, to do what? To correct her past. She ran back to where she was coming from. She ran back to where she was coming from. To, and she invited men unto Jesus. Which means, if you go back to where you are coming from, it means you go back to your past to correct the wrongs of the past. She went back to her past. So if you have an encounter with Jesus, you will need to drop that your water pot. That's your initial ambition. One, two, you need to correct your wrongs. Correct the past wrongs. Hi, yeah, yeah. And three, then you bring people back to Jesus. You lead people to Jesus. But if you don't drop your water pot, you can't go back to the city. If you don't go back to the city, you can't bring men to Christ. Which means... If you don't drop your whole selfish ambition, you cannot correct the past wrongs. You will all you are holding on to the past wrongs. You'll be holding on to your to your wrong ambition, to your selfish ideas. And if you don't let it go, if you don't correct those things, there is no way you will bring men to Jesus. Which means your encounter with Jesus is a waste. Imagine if that woman was still holding on to that water pot, she refused to leave that place to go back to the city. And she refused to bring people to Christ. The encounter is a waste. The encounter will not be meaningful in her life. The encounter will not make any impact in her life. The encounter will just be normal. As if she had no encounter. Some people had the encounter actually with the Lord Jesus Christ. But with the way they still live their lives. It is as if they have never had any encounter. Why? Because they are still holding on to the old water pot. They will not let go. This woman dropped the water pot. What is that water pot in your hand that you need to drop? What is that water pot in your hand that your encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ must make you drop? Because if you don't drop it, there is no way you can go back to correct your wrongs. There is no way you can bring people to the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that is the reason why God is saving you. God saved that woman because People needed to come out of the Samaria. People needed to come out of the... They needed to come out of, to the city gate to see Christ. Because they really needed to accept Christ. And that is the reason why God is saving you. God is saving you so that you can save others. 
Those who have been saved, we have to do what? To arise for the salvation of others. But what about this old water pot of life? The old ways of life, you are still holding on to. Not until you drop it. The encounter may be in vain. Now let's read further. And um, that is verse 29 now. She called them out. She told them about Christ. The Bible says that in verse 30, Then they went out of the city and came unto him. They responded to the call of that woman. Number one, do you know why they responded? Do you know why they believed the message? She would have told them that, Oh, I went to the river to fetch water. Number one, they did not see the water pot with her. So which means they did not see the old ambition. They did not see the selfish ambition. Because the water pot, when that woman fed the water, the water would be for herself. So they believed her because they could not see the water pot. They did not see the water pot again. Men will believe you that truly you have had a encounter with Jesus if they don't see that your selfish ambition again. So they listen to our story. They believe the testimony. You want people to believe the testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ. You want them to listen to you, to listen to the story of your salvation. And you want them to believe. They will not only believe, they will follow you. Then they must not see that water pot again. So they believed him because there was no water pot in her hand. And then, number two, she went back home to the city. She was not just screaming there. You need to take a step of it. Be intentional about it. This woman was intentional about going back to the city. Be intentional about correcting your wrongs. Be intentional about restituting your way. And the Lord will help you in the name of Jesus. So, this woman, this woman came back with multitude. But the good news of this story is that the people she brought to Jesus, they actually accepted Jesus. The Bible says they believed in the story of Jesus. They believed him. And not only that, they brought, they took Jesus into the city and begged Jesus to abide with them. Which means they did not just accept Jesus. They accepted the, the presence of Jesus. They allowed the presence of Jesus to abide with them. The Bible says, and there was a great joy in the city. There was a great joy in the city. I want to believe not in the city alone, even in heaven. There was a great joy. Remember, there is joy in heaven over a sinner that repents. Imagine a whole city turning out to Jesus because a woman had an encounter. Are you a woman listening to me today? Don't let your encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ, don't let it be a waste. Are you a man listening to this video? Don't let your encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't let it be a waste. Come on. God has saved you. Rise up for the salvation of the others. And it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. By your word, you frame the word. Your word is true. Your word is near. By your word. You frame the word, your word is true, your word is in my word. To every problem, there is a solution. You frame my word, it is hidden somewhere. There is always a solution in the scripture. Dig it, and you shall find it. In this life, and the light is the light of men.